Hi, Tom DeCan here, and in this tutorial, we're going to be running through the how to create a Django form in two minutes using Alpine.js. And this follows the post I wrote uh, very closely, so feel free to refer to that. We'll do it on that. Alpine.js, if you don't know it, is a minimal JavaScript tool that allows you to add minimal clean JavaScript to add dynamic elements to your HTML, in this case, Django templates. And this, it's great for adding asynchronous forms, which you'll use all you, you'll be using all the time on the internet, which is essentially when you submit a bit of content or submit data to another server without a page reload. We'll be starting from you having set up a Django project, and then I'll create an app quickly, and then we'll try and do it in two minutes. Okay, we're running Django, as we can see here. We've we already run that, and then we're gonna go and create a app. I'm gonna call it Sim. There is sim, add that into settings. I suppose we haven't really started our timing yet because this is on the article, this is not included. Sim, and then we need to, on URLs, add uh, include a path to the sim URLs, that'll do. Thank you, autocomplete from Copilot, thoroughly recommended. And then, yeah, so let's begin, two minutes to start. First, we're gonna create our templates. Let's, let's go in here, let's go directly to templates. And then we're gonna create an example we're going to create a template here, which you're going to render as HTML, and then we're going to put Alpine into. You can either type this in, but I'm just going to paste it straight in from the article, and this is going to be our form. So you can see form here, three fields, email code, name, address, color, different types. Yep. Now we're going to go and render that into our view. So we need to create, so we've got views here, and we're going to, for our sim app, I'm going to paste in what I wrote earlier on the you can type this if you like, maybe pause and then type it. And we also need to import JSON response. We're going to be returning JSON response from here, not so data, not HTML. And then we've got that templates file is not found. That's because we might need to change that to example. And we also need to go return there. There we go. And um, anyway, let's let's try going to uh, well, what we've we done yet. We need to add our URLs to a sim. And so that's urls.py and then paste in what I've added here. And then this, so this means you, the, you, the user when they visit the page will enter via this URLs, be routed to our sim URLs, which are here, and then be routed to our particular page, uh, root, uh, a particular view example, and then the page. So let's go to example, and then we may need to debug it because example can't be reached. Oh, we need to be, a module named sim URLs. So we need to go and add, we just need to restart our server. Yeah, there we go. And then we go to example, and there it is, example. So this is our form. Now we can go and rendering that. Now we're gonna add Alpine.js to our template. I'm just gonna paste it in and I'll highlight what, what we are adding. So we've added this for this line to say that we're not gonna, we're gonna prevent, we're adding X data. This is where it's gonna hold some state. This is gonna trigger, depend, trigger showing, it's only gonna, this is gonna trigger showing if, depending on what this state is. And then this is going to send our data here to the endpoint, which is our, gonna be sample post, and then this loads our pipe. And then it sends the data, gets us back, we put our Django S token in there, and then depending on the response, we then, up, and then updates the state, and that will flip one of these. Quick explanation. So check that it works expected. So let's try submitting something and we can have a look down here in our console and we get nothing. Please include that in the, okay. And there you go. That, and so that has gone, that has been sent to sample post, which goes to our URLs here, sample post, which goes to our view here, which then prints this data here and then returns that back to here and then checks whether it's success or error. So there you go. We've done, we've done it in two minutes. And now bonus, you can see if we refresh this page, you see there's flickering. That's because Alpine's taking a moment to load. So we can add uh, add X cloak here and add to the form and add uh, a little style here at the bottom. You can add this in through your CSS. And that essentially will, X cloak will hide this until the, the Alpine's finished loading. So it'll display none until it's finished loading. Now, if we refresh again, you see perfect no flicker. So there we are, that's it. That's how to, how to do it, very easy. Uh, if you want to build even faster, I recommend my product Photon Designer, which output Alpine.js as default. We also will be out, out, outputting HTMX. Photon Designer is a way to release Django products really quickly by building Django front-end entirely visually. I've got loads of posts on that. Check out photondesign.com if you're interested. And yeah, I 
I think it's really good. <laughs> anyway, I hope that, I hope that was helpful. All the best to you.